Hey guys, my name is Daniel, and today we'll review on how to correctly jack up a car. Let's go. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, first thing, we're gonna explore the jack that came in your car, hopefully. Some of the newer cars now don't have tire kits anymore. They have just something to inflate it. Trust me, it doesn't work, it's all garbage. You're just trying to save a few hundred dollars or make you spend a few hundred extra dollars on the tire uh, and jack kit. But uh, all of our cars have spare tires in it. We're gonna go and check them out and see what they're all about. So if you have one of these jacks, uh, the way these work, they don't go underneath your body on a pinch mold, uh, they go into the side uh, of your vehicle. So you'll see little tabs right here. What we're going to do is we're going to pop that off and in here you will find a hole that fits your jack perfectly. So now we're going to go through the cumbersome task and bring it up. So if you have a flat tire and you're on the side of the road, this is probably going to be your only option. And this is my least favorite way of using a jack because it's so cumbersome. Um, but before we start lifting, we got to make sure the parking brake is on and that the car is as level as possible. Again, when you're out in the field, you're on the side of the road, possibly in the grass, this will dig into the grass. So be very, very careful because the car is in park. And we're lifting the front, the car shouldn't move anywhere, we're on level ground, let's start lifting. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up each corner, put one of these jacks underneath it, and I'll see you in a minute. So now that I have the car here on this jacking point, <clears throat> I will bring it up a little bit more on the other side so I don't lift it all the way up suddenly, but I put it up and then I lift each corner slightly. So let's go back to the other side. So now I wanna go just a tad bit up so I can increase the distance a little bit higher. Now, if I have the car jacked up in the front and I stick this in the rear, this angle is very concerning. Right now, these uh, rear wheels are in, have the parking brake on and they're, they're holding the car from rolling away. And these blocks are only as uh, good for as long as uh, the tires on the ground. But with this angle, if I start lifting it, the chance is that the whole vehicle is gonna come this way. So. I wouldn't use this for more than one axle to lift just because it's a little bit too shady. So all we need to do is grab one of these. All right, so now this is great, but if I use this jacking point, I'm gonna get a jack underneath it uh, to hold the car while we lift the other side. So I'm having a little bit of problem. I don't wanna jack the car anywhere else because this is the safest point of the car. It would be great to jack it with this jack that came from Mercedes, but if I lift it, it's, it may tilt over because of the angle that the car is sitting at. So what can we do? Let's take a look. So on this vehicle, you can jack it right here on the rear differential. Now, I don't mind jacking the differential just because that's the most convenient point uh, that I have here. However, I do have a problem using metal on metal. So what I like to do is I take a hockey puck, pop it right up in here, and I'm right here on the differential. And the car can go slowly up. Here we go. So now that the car is safely up in the air, I can go ahead and start working on the car. So let's take a look at a couple other things.
Now, while you're here underneath the car, there's certain places where you cannot jack your car. If it's protected by any type of plastic, there's probably something underneath it that's too soft, like an oil pan, uh, transmission oil pan, and those are points I would not want to lift the car. Now, anything that looks like solid uh, metal, you can lift it, for example, here. I don't like to lift on this place personally, because as you lift it, it rotates a little bit, and I don't like to get it upset, uh, but there's, several lift points on the vehicle where you can lift and if that's your only point that's your only point you gotta have to go for it now if i work on a car and the car is in the air regardless if it's one corner an axle all four corners i put a jack underneath it but i always pull my jack that i lift up the car into that area of where uh, i'm working it is uh, very important to have a second piece of insurance. So you're lifting up your car, the second jack is basically your insurance, just in case something fails. Now, my car right now is maybe a half an inch off the ground. That's all I need to take the wheels off and to do whatever I have to do on the car. But once the wheel is off, I get all this extra clearance to work for. So don't lift your car more than you necessarily have to do. Again, if I need the car higher than this right now, I would now go back to the front with uh, the, the, the big uh, jack, not the one that came from Mercedes because now when I put that in, it's a little bit too crooked for my taste. This is great for one corner, maybe one axle. I wouldn't use it past that. Uh, so now if I needed to go higher, I would jack up the front a little bit higher and then go back to the back and jack that up a couple of clicks on those jack stands. All right, so before we get to my car, let me talk about a few accessories that I bought over the years that made my life a lot easier. Um, Hockey puck, you already seen it. Uh, I love the way it works. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I'll link something on Amazon that I can find. Uh, this one's probably 10 years old. And uh, I used it on cars uh, ever since then. And I love it. It doesn't leave any marks. It's still stable. It beats a two by four, a couple of two by fours. Um, love it. I'll throw a link in the description. now. The next one, if you have a pinch mold, you know, the ones that come together and you have the lift point. I always lifted my cars uh, that had such a uh, pinch mold uh, and I never had a problem until I had an old car. I lifted it up just to change some brakes and the pinch mold just fell over and the car dropped by half an inch, scared the crap out of me and I learned a valuable lesson. I got something like this. This looks like a hockey puck basically. It's a little bit thicker but it has a little line in here, which that's where I throw it up on the pinch mold. Not only is the pinch mold soft when it hits the rubber, but also there's a little bit of extra space to help with the support on top. Now, what do you do when you have a jack? You don't want to lay it right on top. They have something like this. Again, I'll link the link to it. Uh, and uh, the way it works, it goes on here and then the pinch mold goes in here. It's very stable. It sits between the grooves. It's very universal. So it should work on most or all uh, jack stands. But um, I love these and uh, they're absolutely great. And it just protects the car for longevity. Um, I don't know who came up with the idea to, to jack the car in a pinch mold. It, it just looks so thin and I'm always scared uh, when I'm on there. This uh, will remedy the situation. So that being said, let me pop in the other car and uh, let's get that jacked up. So when I'm looking here underneath the car, here's technically my jacking point and this is where the jack has to go. So I don't really have any space to put my jack at the same spot as the jack stand is going to be. So this is a structural piece of metal and I should be able, and you can already see some marks of where the factory uh, or the car, uh, the, the tire dealer um, jacked the car up and this should be strong enough. So I'm going to jack up the car here and then put a jack stand right here.
So in here, we don't have a differential. If I try to lift it on the exhaust, we'll break the exhaust. So we'll probably have to lift it right here at one of these points, or we can even lift it from underneath here. This is strong enough to hold the car. This already holds the car. See where your suspension is? That's where all the weight of your car is. So we should be safe to lift it up here. And that's what we gotta do. Now that we lifted up the, the back, the front dipped just a little bit. Like I said, in little increments, I'm gonna go in the front, lift it up another step, and so all four uh, wheels clear off the uh, floor. All right, here we go. Car is up in the air, it was easy peasy. Always remember, safety first. If it doesn't feel right, jack it back up, find a different location, make sure the floor is always straight. First, always go by your user manual. Your user manual will tell you correct jacking points, how to jack it up, where to jack it up. Uh, and I, my least favorite tool to jack up a car is the tool that comes actually with the car. That should only be used in a case of emergency. So if you're doing repairs in the garage, don't use that, just get a jack stand. I bought mine, it's a Pittsburgh Automotive. I think I paid 25 bucks at a pawn shop for it. Some people throw a tire in, but a tire doesn't do nothing. When the car comes down, uh, me as an old fat guy, I'm thicker than a tire, so it won't help me in any way to survive a vehicle on top of me. That's it, be safe out there. Until next time, take care.